President Vladimir Putin is vowing that Russia's military goals in Ukraine will be achieved. This comes as we are hearing horrific reports of rape and increased violence against civilians. There are fears the port city of Mariupol may fall after the city's mayor says a Russian campaign killed more than 10,000 civilians. The U.S. is also monitoring accusations chemical weapons were used there. So far, those claims have not been verified by CBS News. But this footage shows a massive eight-mile-long convoy of Russian troops heading toward the eastern part of Ukraine. It is sparking fears Moscow is recalibrating troops for a major offensive in the Donbass region. Experts say the move would reinforce and resupply troops in the east after Russia failed to capture Ukraine's capital city. CBS News foreign correspondent Holly Williams joins us now with more from Kyrgyz, Ukraine. Holly, thanks for being with us. Uh, we want to start with your really compelling mm. reporting about sexual assaults uh, that are taking place in Ukraine. You spoke with a Ukrainian woman who said that she was raped by a Russian soldier. Tell us, what did she tell you? I, I also wonder, Holly, how old she is from, from watching your footage. And then I, we're also just wondering, is there any chance that, that there will be justice for these victims of war crimes? Well, I should start out by pointing out that there have been multiple allegations of rape by Russian forces during this invasion. Ukrainian authorities are investigating, and the United Nations says that it's increasingly hearing of rape and sexual assault here in Ukraine. The Ukrainian military took us to a village that had previously been occupied by Russian forces, and we met an 83-year-old woman named Vera, a former elementary school teacher who told us that she had been had been raped when Russian forces were occupying her village. Um, it was truly a, I mean, a, a harrowing account. Um, she says that this attack took place uh, inside her own home while her disabled husband was present. She said that she was also um, beaten during the attack. Um, she said that uh, the, the, the attacker held her by the back of the neck and, and choked her. Um, she said that uh, when he had finished, um, she asked whether she could put her clothes on, um, and he said no. Um, later on, he, he left, he went outside the house, and he used his assault weapon to fire three shots into the air. She's clearly extremely anxious um, and distressed, uh, as you can imagine. She told us that she believes her attacker was actually from the far eastern part of Ukraine, uh, a breakaway region that's controlled by Russian-backed separatists, um, and where, where men have reportedly been conscripted to fight um, for Russian forces. We also heard that other women in that village uh, had been raped. Now, you know, we can't independently confirm any of this, but what I can tell you is that Vera's account was, was very detailed very compelling uh, and heartbreaking. As to whether she uh, is likely to get justice, well, there are investigations ongoing in Ukraine. Uh, Ukrainian war crimes investigators uh, are investigating potential war crimes as are NGOs, uh, as is the International Criminal Court. What a harrowing uh, story there, Holly. Um, as we mentioned, of course, Russian President Vladimir Putin vowed Moscow's military goals in Ukraine will be achieved. Now, this comes as we see that convoy of Russian troops heading east. What are the concerns surrounding Russia's plans, especially with accusations that Russian forces may be using chemical weapons? Well, Russian forces lost the battle for Kiev, Ukraine's capital. They ran into a Ukrainian resistance that was much tougher than, frankly, anyone expected. Uh, and then the Russians experienced this catalogue of quite embarrassing military failures. They have then withdrawn from that, that area, withdrawn from that northern part of Ukraine across the border, uh, where we assume that they have been regrouping. And then in recent days, we've seen these extraordinary satellite images of an apparently eight-mile-long convoy of Russian vehicles heading to the east. East. Russia has said that it's switching its focus uh, to the east, which may be a sign of more limited goals here in Ukraine. But the Ukrainians are extremely anxious and a warning of a massive onslaught in the east. Um, they've been trying to get as many civilians uh, to evacuate from that area. Now, the Russians seem to be trying to correct 
their earlier military failures. They've uh, apparently appointed a new general in charge of this evasion, invasion, Alexander Dvornikov. He was previously in charge of Russia's military operations in Syria. And military experts say that the tactics that the Ukrainians used so successfully around Kiev, including guerrilla tactics, might be more difficult uh, in the east, where in most areas there are much less densely populated than they are around Ukraine's capital. All right. Well, Holly mm. Williams in Ukraine, thank you so much for that reporting and stay safe.